Hello friends, welcome to my channel ELS English Literature Studies with Gaur Harpreet. Today I will discuss some MCQs. I will discuss 12 MCQs and uh, these MCQs are based on Indian writers or Indian Anglo writers. So let's get started. These are some writers. I am going to discuss questions based on these writers. Uh, now friends, my first question is Lady Scoupe is a novel about. Options are given. It is a novel about the ladies enclosure in the railway compartment or option Two, it is novel about women's conditions in a male-dominated society. It is only a, a journey of Akela, that is the main character, or it is a train, a novel about a train that is bound to Kanyakumari. So, friends, right answer is here. Answer is option two: women's conditions in a male-dominated society. This novel is about women's condition. Actually, Lady Scoupe is a novel by. Anita Nair, an Indian novelist, and it was published in 2001. Right? Uh, this um, novel follows the journey of a middle-aged Indian woman named Akila as she travels to Kanyakumari in her search for independence. And um, this is about uh, her journey. And uh, she is uh, unmarried, and uh, she travels alone to Kanyakumari. Right? And in this novel, this uh, there is a there is a, we can say main theme is women's conditions as discussed in a male dominated society right now my second question is the uh, the three founders of indian english poetry are options are given options are given that these are the options the uh, three indian founders we have to find out the which which option is correct in which three founders of indian english poetry are given right so option third is the right answer mahapatra ak ramanujan and r partha sarathi right these are the three founders of indian english poetry now my next question is what is the real problem in india according to rabindranath tagore is it poverty corruption or it is social or illiteracy what do we think what is the real problem in india according to tagore so friends right up option is option 3 it is not political but social right then my next question is what was the original name of renowned hindi and urdu writer munshi premchand this is his pen name munshi premchand what is the original name of munshi premchand as it is premdas dhanpatray shivastava khwaja ahmed or none of these which one is the correct option dhanpatray so right answer is option 2 dhanpatray shivastava it is the original name of munshi premchand and uh, munshi premchand is pen name he was an indian writer famous for his modern hindi urdu literature right next question is the short story mrs datta writes a letter this is the name of the short story it is written by whom options are given again mrs datta writes a story writes a letter it is a short story written by chitrabi deva kuruni it is option a is the right answer uh, in which uh, in this short story um, uh, chitra again explores a cultural shock faced by indian women right who have made immigrations and throughout the story she tries to answer her calcutta friends questions about whether or not she is happy in america but she keeps putting her response letter aside right so this is written by chitra Question number six is Tagore is against the idea of nationalism. Rabindana Tagore is against the idea of nationalism because it is a threat to humanity or it is a reason for war and mutual hatred. It breeds fanaticism or all of the above. What do you think is the uh, main reason that Tagore is against the idea of nationalism? So the right answer is option. for all of the above right it is a threat to humanity it is a reason for war and mutual hatred it breeds fanaticism so all these reasons are in, um included in this that tagore is against the idea of nationalism the next question is why did dr ambedkar 
why did dr ambedkar take up the job at baroda right what is the reason it was because it was the place where he had his education thought it was his duty to offer his services first to the maharaja of baroda because it is maharaja of baroda who finances education or it was a good city to live in or uh, this city offered scope for higher education now what is the reason that dr ambedkar take up the job at baroda so option 2 is the right answer dr ambedkar uh, took up the job at baroda because he thought that it was his duty to offer his services first to the maharaj of baroda why because it is maharaj of baroda who financed his education so he take up the job at baroda uh, next question is the short story antidote is written by whom the short story antidote is written by whom rk narayan salman rushdi jompa lairi or chitra right antidote is a short story written by rk narayan so this is the right answer rk narayan was a leading author of early indian literature in english along with mulkuraj anand and raja rao and if you want to more, uh, know more about mulkuraj anand then video uh, is uh, available on my channel that is dedicated to him and uh, uh, the short story uh, what is the um, theme of antidote the short story um is a uh, written by arkena ran and uh, in it the there's a protagonist gopal who is told by the doctor to act as a dead person right he does so in order to keep up with the script right some day i will discuss it in detail so the uh, right answer of question number 8 is arkena ran that is enough to know here then next question is the poem harp of india this is the name of poem harp of india is written by whom options are given Henry Durazio, Nassim Askil, Janta Mahapatra, or Kamala Das. So the right answer is option A. Henry Louis Durazio. This is the poem. The um, poem "Harp of India" is written by Henry. Right. Uh, he was an Indian poet of English and Portuguese origin. He was one of the first Indian educators. to disseminate western learning and science among the young men of bengal right he was a radical thinker of his time and uh, acted as an assistant headmaster of hindu college in kolkata right so the poem harp of india is written by henry durazio and if you want to know more uh, about nizim eskil and kamla das content is available regarding to them on my channel next question is the play tugluk it dramatizes the socio political scenario of the day how the play tugluk which is written by girish uh, it dramatizes the socio political scenario of the day how you have to answer how uh, it um, the option 4 is the right answer uh, it it dramatizes the socio political scenario through anarchy prevalent then widespread corruption shows apathy of the rules a rulers are shown so all of the above points are included in it right so option 4 is the right answer and this is a play written by girish which was um, uh, said during the reign of mohammed bin tughlaq right next question is the essay the odds against us is written by whom options are given satyajit Shashi Tharoor, Anita Nayar, Girish Karnad. So, friends, the right answer is Satyajit Ray. The odds against us it reason by Satyajit Ray, right? Next question and last question of this video is: She was shortlisted for the Nobel Prize in Literature in nineteen eighty four. Who among these? Who among these? was shortlisted for the nobel prize in literature in 1984 so uh, friends the right answer is kamla sreya or uh, also known as kamla das an indian poet in english as well as an author in malayalam from kerala right one of the most prominent feminist voices in the post colonial colonial era 
and uh, on account of her extensive contribution to the poetry uh, she earned the label the mother of modern indian english poetry so uh, she was shortlisted for the nobel prize in literature in 1984 and if you want to know more if you want more information regarding her uh, then again uh, we can say content is available on my channel and if you are interested you can check those videos also right so friends this is all about today's topic i hope you will like the mcqs and if you like it please hit the like button share and subscribe my channel and also hit the uh, notification bell button so that you uh, can be notified and uh, it will be uh, uh, easy for you to get uh, notification of my new videos and thanks a lot for watching